Hey everyone, we continue our hunt for the three stars. Brilliant rating here, going to the Valley of the Twins. This is gonna be quick, uh, relatively quick. Uh, let's take the mana straight away. We're gonna put up the towers and start the attack straight away. Speed it up. Clear up and just go faster and faster. Getting those towers up and running. ASAP. Here we go. Very useful coins. Attack. Oh, that guy almost made it. So the Den Towers are going forward. Need some money for the upgrades here. It's important to get the towers up to the higher level. So again, taking the manas, clearing up the forest for the money. Preparing for the flyers. Not enough for the grip there. I can't believe that guy almost made it. Get that crypt already. Sniper tower. Also keeping attention at the bosses. But he will go down with all these upgrades. Take it to a ballista here. Next. Just getting them killed as fast as possible and running them fast. Because I don't think I'm in danger of anybody passing here. The flyers going down with the ballista and sniper towers. Wonderful. There we get more upgrades for the towers. Clearing up some more forests. Let's get the ballista up and running. Some more coins. I should only be a little bit uh, careful about the, the adventure boss which is coming up next. As he is just simply physically fast. So I'll take all these things and toss, um, let's upgrade that, okay let's call him up, and I will probably toss a meteor away. There he comes, he puts up the speed. And he goes down with the meteor. But I think that was the biggest danger there. Although I, I thought they were gonna pass those birds. Or Valkyries. Okay. Let's get more upgrades rolling in. Safety towers. Because we're already good. More safety towers. And last safety tower. Here we're good. And 
and I think now we just have to roll to the end of it. First upgrade. That one will go fast, of course. The next upgrade rolling in. Here we go, next wave. Just keeping the eye on the towers to get them upgraded at all times so they, they get leveled up. Here come the monks. Just healing and dying mostly. Another upgrade coming in here, coins. And here we will take the temple of, what is it called, the Inferno. Another upgrade here for the flyers, an important one. Here also the fear upgrade. Taking in the coins for the money there. Clearing up the forest a little bit. Just to get the money rolling in. But it's smooth saving it from here mostly. I have the money so I'm not bothering with those coins. Man is almost maximum. You see the boss is dying halfway already. Just for fun clearing the forest. And again, if you want to see this done on a, a lower level without uh, too many skills, then just uh, look at the video that I did it in the first run without practically any skills. But for the brilliant rating, you need to level up, of course. Here we go, a couple of waves left and then it's done. Still keeping in my mind to do the upgrades because I think that's important. Last safety tower there is the flyers in case they come about. Because I don't want to bother looking at if they're coming or not, so just straight away preparing for it. Let's get that upgraded. Take some of the coins here. And I will also then for this one, just a little bit waiting to get some more experience on the towers before I activate that one. There we go. The one before the last. And I think a lot of the towers are upgraded, so I will go ahead with this one. And the final one. You can see a lot of gold coins and, and potions on the floor, I'm not even bothering to pick up. Fast forwarding here with the bosses. Upgrading the towers. <coughs> and tossing in a meteor tower just for fun. That should have netted me the brilliant rating that I needed to collect. 258 enemies killed, 6 champions, 5 gems saved and the brilliant bonus 10% that I am collecting, 3 stars, there we have it.